Good afternoon, Celine. I'm Noelle Jacobs here in the studio with Will Shaw III. That's right. Prepare yourselves for an in-depth look at our women's water polo team, as well as some new information on the status of this year's prom. Sit back, relax, and enjoy another outstanding episode of SHS Today. It's such a For many students, the phrase, no freaking, no grinding, has been translated to, no freaking, no fun. Here's the scoop on the 2010 prom and the prom fashion show. Well, Celine, it's that time of year again. That's right, prom's coming. If you haven't already saved the date, prom's on May 1st, 2010. It's at the same place that Eastern Michigan University Convocation Center from 8 p.m. to 11.55 p.m. And what would prom be without its royal court? The official voting will take place on April 26th. And come on, guys, let's make this night memorable, be responsible, be safe, and have a great 2010 prom. I'll be having a great time at prom no matter what the circumstances, and I encourage all other students to follow suit. Our administration only wants to ensure safety, so as a student body, let's put our cumulative anger aside and have a fantastic prom. Indeed. Say, Noel, have you heard about the 24-hour relay? No, I haven't, Will. What's that about? Well, you grab a team of 10 students and two adult chaperones and simply have a 24-hour long blast. Dodgeball, football, a massive slip and slide, and the band Shy Rock will be all a part of this year's relay. It will be on May 29th, and the team sign-up will be on Saturday, April 24th at Union School. Packets are available now in the main office or on the high school's website. Last year, our women's water polo team earned the honor of being the state runner-up in the Michigan High School Tournament. As a part of the team myself, I felt that it was necessary to spread the word about one of our school's greatest sisterhoods. Your 2010 women's water polo team is sizzling after placing second at the state tournament last year. After two state championships in the sport of swimming, you've got to wonder what the polo team has in store this season. Let's take a closer look. Corner. Corner. No, I'll go for that. I interviewed two of the quad captains, Mia Allen and Gabby Burke, on how the season is going. We're going to step it up a notch. I mean, Okemos, they have a really good hole set. They have a really good weak side shot. We have a lot of developing players this year, and we're definitely coming into our setting with other uh, top pass uh, competitors losing their top lines. And we're really uh, developing fast this year and working hard and being pushed harder than we've ever been pushed before. And I think definitely uh, coming up short last year is a big motivator to uh, take it home this year and put another banner up on the wall. The state tournament is going to be hosted right here in Saline, June 5th through 6th. Make sure to come on down to support your Lady Hornets as they attempt to make a run at yet another state title. Back to you, studio. Impressive stuff, ladies. Let's keep our fingers crossed for another great postseason run. Speaking of impressive stuff, there will be a dance marathon at Liberty School tonight from 9 p.m. tonight to 6 a.m. tomorrow. Stop by and show off your slick moves. SHS Today needs your help. We're conducting a poll to find out what kind of music you like to listen to. A link to the survey will be sent to your Celine Hornets email accounts and also to all members of our Facebook group. Please take 30 seconds of your time to fill out this brief questionnaire. If you took the first version of the survey on Facebook, thank you for participating and sorry for any technical issues you may have experienced. Drivers, on Saturday, April 24th, the Milan Dragway is hosting its annual High School Nationals. The racing is set up in a classic bracket form, and the brackets are divided into six major time slots. Other contests include a burnout contest, stereo contest, school versus school, and instructor races. All you need is a driver's license, a school ID, a car or truck, and if you're under 18, a signed parental consent form. Forms can be found at MilanDragway.com and a link is available on SHS Today's Facebook page. There is no experience required and we encourage everybody to participate. 
Racers pay $25, and for those coming out to support your fellow Hornets, admission is $15. So bring your sports car, muscle car, pickup, or beater to the Mile and Dragway, and I hope to see you there. The day of silence was today. Students show their support for the GLBT cause by taking a vow of silence for the day. This was a nationwide event held by the Day of Silence organization. Well, that's all for this week's show. Thanks for watching and have a beautiful weekend. This has been an SHS video production. <laughs> Perfect.